Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will paint Lulu's upper body and dress. Keep in mind that all steps done with an airbrush can also be completed with a normal brush. Without further ado, let's get to painting. Starting with the upper body, we will use Black Templar for the base and the corset color. While waiting for the black to dry fully, we will apply grey sear on the fur. This will give us a nice base to shade later. In order to make sure we don't paint over the fur later, we will use Bugman's Glow and start painting the skin. Don't be afraid of painting the props the same color as the skin, as we will paint them later with the correct colors. Having done the first layer of skin, we will mix Seraphim Sepia and Nulled Oil around 1 to 1 ratio and thin the mix down with Lamian Medium. We will apply the result over the fur. While our wash dries, it is a bit dangerous to continue with the skin. Thus, we will go and finish the corset. Using German grey, we will paint the raised areas only. Now that our shade has dried, we can go back and continue painting the skin. Using Cadian Flesh Tone, we will do the epidermis. Once again, do not mind painting over the props. Time for the props. Starting with Nagaroth Knight, we will paint the beads on the necklace furthest from the neck. Once our base has dried, we will layer with Zerius Purple. Finally, we will do small highlights with a Jean Stiller Purple, only to those the light hits the most. Moving to the necklace in the middle, using a small brush and Mephiston Red, we will go over the entirety of it. Try to use the belly of the brush as much as you can in order to avoid painting over the skin. Take all the time you require. The pearly necklace is left for last and it will be painted with Corax White. This is the smallest one so mistakes can happen. Fret not as you can reapply the skin color later and cover your mistake. Once all three necklaces have been finished and any mistakes mended, we will do the highlights on the skin with the use of Kislev Flesh. Paint only the most raised areas where the light will hit.
last step for the upper body make a mix of seraphim sepia and lamian medium one to one roughly pass over the fur once more this will give it a fine brownish tint The dress itself is six different pieces. Cover all of them with Abaddon Black. Whether you want to go through one by one or assemble the dress and paint it all together, it is up to you. Once the entire dress has been covered with black, we will open the color a bit with ashing gray. With the use of Wraith Bone, we will fill the details on the dress. Apply two layers with a small brush for easier and better coverage. Using the belly of a brush and Abaddon Black, paint all the raised areas of the details to give it a nice contrast. Now it is time for the belt. Using Black Templar, we will paint the entirety of both pieces. Once the block has fully dried, we will take iron hand steel and paint the buckles of each belt. As a last step, we will do highlights to the belt buckles with storm host silver. Try to paint the upper part of the belt, as this is the place most of the light will hit. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment of the moment you liked the most. If you did not like the video and reached this part, thank you and please leave a comment explaining what you did not like. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.